In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily create your own MOGRT files inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So we're inside of Adobe After Effects, and as you can see, we haven't got any text created at the moment. So we're just gonna begin by quickly making some text. So we'll just create a basic lower third animation. So we're just gonna go up to the horizontal type tool, and then we'll just select anywhere in our video and we'll just type out a name. So I'm gonna go for my name here. And you can change the style of this by going over to the character window on the left, like so. Then I'm just gonna do that again. So we'll go back up to the text icon and we'll go for a title this time. So we'll go for videographer. And then we'll just change the size of this in the character window and we'll just place this underneath the text, like so. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and create a brand new solid. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and create a brand new shape. So we'll go up to the top bar, make sure none of your layers are selected and then just draw a square around that title. And as you can see, my stroke is extremely large. So I'm just gonna pull this down to zero and then we'll change the fill to solid. Press okay on that. And then just select a color of your choice. So let's go for, let's go for a dark blue and we'll place this underneath the text. So to begin with, I'm just gonna place all of this into the corner. So we'll just place this down in the bottom left corner where your lower third would typically live. And then from there, you just want to go ahead and create a few brand new null objects. So we'll go for layer, new, null object. And you just want to link your name layer onto that null object. Then we'll create a brand new null object again, null object, and we'll link the other text. So the subtitle, We'll link that onto your null object. So use this pip whip tool and link it to there. Or alternatively, you can just select the null object in this box here. And then from there, we're just going to go ahead and we'll just put this into its own composition. So select that shape layer, we'll pre-compose that and press okay. So from here, we just want to first begin by animating these two text layers. So rather than adjusting the position and the scale of the text layers, we're gonna do that using the null objects. So we'll select null two which is affecting the name. Of course, you can rename these if you want to avoid confusion. We'll go into transform and somewhere towards the beginning, we'll just create a brand new keyframe on position. Then we'll go over to the left and we'll pull the position over to the left like so. So if we play this back, it quickly whips in. Of course, we can always increase the gap between those two keyframes to slow that down. There you go. And then of course, if you create a brand new keyframe after these two, and then go back to that middle keyframe and move this over to the right, you're gonna create a nice subtle bounce effect. There you go. So the name has animated in, now we need to go and animate this subtitle. So we'll go to null three, we'll go scale, we'll create a brand new keyframe on scale towards the end of that movement. Then we'll go back a few frames and pull this down to zero. So if we play this back, you'll notice that the text is coming from here and that's because the anchor point is sitting in the middle. So from here, we're just gonna go into anchor point. We'll move the position of this all down to where the text should sit. And then we'll move the anchor point so that this box here goes back towards the middle. So we'll move this over to the right. Then we'll push it up. And there you go, we can now see our text is coming back. And this circle here is the anchor point and that means this scale increase, so this increase here, is now going to animate from that point. So now that you've done that, you can just go ahead and create a third point on the scale. We'll go back to that middle point and we'll increase the scale again. So we've got that nice bouncing effect. There you go, like so. It's, it's a really basic effect, but this is just the basics of your MOGRT files. So that comes in, that comes in. We just need to animate this box to come in. So we'll go into this pre-comp and then from there, we'll press S on the keyboard to load scale. You want to unlink the scale here. And then we'll go a few frames in. So we'll go roughly 10 frames in. We'll create a brand new keyframe on the scale. Go a few frames to the left and we'll increase this left option over to the right. So we'll increase that a little bit. So again, we're getting that nice bounce effect. Then we'll go to the beginning and pull this to zero. So when we play this back, you've got this nice animation in here. So we'll close that down and we'll go back to our main comp. As you can see, it's all animating it at the same time. So that's great. 
But how do we turn this basic lower third into an MOGRT file that we can use inside of Adobe Premiere? Well, first of all, you want to go into window and turn on the essential graphics panel. And that should load up this window here. Now from here, you just want to go into essential graphics, primary, and select the composition that this is sitting in. So this is comp one, as you can see. So we'll select comp one. You can go ahead and rename this to lower third. And now from here, you just want to drag the properties of this text layer into the essential graphics panel. So we'll start with, we'll start with the name. So we'll open up the name. We'll go into text and drag source text into this. And then you can go ahead and rename this to name. And then if you go into edit properties, you can select enable custom font selection, enable font size adjustment, enable full styles. And then you can use layer as a fallback text box if you want, but I'm just going to uncheck that and press OK. And that will load all of this. So that means we can change the font, we can change the style, we can change the size of this all from within the essential graphics panel, which is great. Now from here, we'll go into transform. And as you can see, we've got anchor point, position, scale, rotation, opacity. We can drag all of these in if we want. I'm not going to bother adjusting the anchor point, so I'm just going to put position, scale, rotation, and opacity. So that's all in there now. So if we pull this down, you can see the opacity is affected. Same thing with rotation, scale. In fact, as you can see, because the anchor point is sitting over here, I am going to drag the anchor point back in. So that means they've got the option to change the anchor point and then add this rotation here. But the question is, how do you enable someone to change the color of this? Well, if you go into effects and presets and search for tint, if you drop tint onto this text layer, you can pull the map white to, because the text is white, we can go into effects, tint, and pull the map white to up here. And you can rename this to color. So you can just select this white box here. You can change this to red, for example, and that's turned red. So that's a very quick and easy way of doing that. Of course, you can throw in loads of different other effects as well. So you can do some distortion. You can do some color correction. You can do some noise and grain, some keying. There's loads of different effects that you can drag up into the essential graphics panel that you can allow someone to customize, but we'll just leave it at that for now. But the problem with this at the moment is if we add the next title and if we add the box onto this, it's all just going to get extremely confusing because nothing is organized and it just looks really messy. So in order to do that, we're just going to go into add group. So we'll select add formatting, add group. And this is basically just a folder. So we'll go name, title. Then you just want to drop that into this folder. You'll drop your position into here. Drop your scale into here. Drop the rotation, drop the opacity, drop the anchor point and drop the color. There you go. So we can now close this down. And that means everything in this name folder, if we affect any of these properties, it will only affect that one title. And it helps to keep us nice and organized. So then of course, you can always just add another group. And this could be the subtitle title. And then you can drag in all the properties from the second text as well. But you can also throw in some effects onto this box as well. So because we've put this in its own pre-comp, you can just drop effects onto here. So we'll go effects and presets. We'll go tint again. So now that we've added that tint effect, if we just go into that pre-comp, we can go into effects, tint. We can drag that map black to into the essential graphics panel. And if we change the color of this, you can see that black box has now turned red. So we can just call this box color. And of course we can always put this in its own group. So we can go for box and drag that in there. Now, of course you can always add these other effects. You can go transform, you can drop the scale in, you can drag the anchor point in, you can drag the position, the rotation, the opacity. You just drop these all into the box folder like so, essentially all you're doing here is you're just adding in all of the options that you want people to be able to edit in Premiere. And then once you've added all of these in and you've put them all into their custom folders, you can just go roughly halfway through until the point where it looks great. You go set poster time, and that's gonna change the thumbnail for this MOGRT file to this time code here. So as you can see, if I change it to here where the animation's coming in, if I set the poster time, then it's gonna be like this. And of course, if there's nothing on screen and you set the post time for this, 
then it's going to be difficult for the person using this file to understand what they're dragging in. So you want to set this roughly halfway through and that looks great. So all you have to do now is just go export motion graphics templates. This project needs to be saved first. We'll just save that. Then you just want to save this to your destination of choice. So we'll put this in a lower third folder. And then these are just all the warnings. So warn me if this motion graphics template uses fonts that are not available from Adobe fonts. Warn me if After Effects needs to be installed in order to customize this motion graphic title. And then warn me if there are text controls that cannot be edited within the Premiere Pro type tool. We'll just keep them all on. Press OK. Press OK. And that has now exported. So as you can see in the folder, I found that lower third. Lower third created today, 11.57. The time is 11.57. So now all you have to do with this file is go into Premiere. We'll load up the essential graphics panel. So we'll go to graphics. And then you just want to go down to the bottom right and select install motion graphics template. Or alternatively, you can just drag that into here. Then you just want to navigate your way through to that lower third. So it's done alphabetically. So look for L. Here you go. There it is. We'll just drag that into Premiere. That might take a second or two to load, but as you can see, once that has loaded, that will play back. Unfortunately, my Premiere has crashed annoyingly, but that will play back inside of Premiere and that will look great. So there you go. That is how you make your own MOGRT files inside of Adobe After Effects and import them using Adobe Premiere. Now, this is really great if you've got specific branding for your YouTube channel or a company and you don't want to have to create a lower third every single time. You just create the template in After Effects, import it into Premiere and it will work like an absolute dream. It's also really cool as well because you can create your own MOGRT files and sell these on the web as digital assets. And that is a great way of earning extra revenue as a video creator. But there you go. That's the basics of how to create an MOGRT file inside of Adobe After Effects. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.